In this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you can't make money online. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, this is Alston. I hope you're doing well because I'm better than I've ever been. Welcome to my channel where I help you make money online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you wanna learn tips and tricks on how to make money online. All right, so today I am going to give you five reasons why you can't make money online. The first tip is you've been convinced that it doesn't take any work. And so but what I mean by that is you see people that are telling you, hey, make $15 an hour easy online, when in reality, that's not the case. In order to make long-term sustained success, you need to put in the work. You need to put in an hour every day. You need to put in an hour and a half every day so that you are constantly getting better. You wanna make sure that your Monday is not as good as your Friday. Your Friday is better than your Monday and your Saturday is better than your Friday. If you get better incrementally every day, you will eventually be able to start making money online. So that's number one. Uh, you've been convinced by people either uh, on, on YouTube, on a podcast, blog, that it's easy. Number That's number one. Number two, you're comparing yourself to everyone else's finished product. If you're just getting started, if you're a beginner, you're looking around and you're seeing people making millions and billions of dollars online and you're getting frustrated and wondered, wondering why you're not making that money, you're not having that level of success. When in reality, if you are on day one of affiliate marketing or email marketing or social media influencer, you are not going to be making a million dollars. It takes long-term sustained action in order to find the level of success that you're looking for. Look at any person that's out there. Everyone started with zero. From zero, you have to grow. You have to uh, find different ways to get better. You have to do a little bit of research. You have to do a little bit of trial and error. You have to take a little bit of risk in order to get the level of success that you're looking for. So that's the second one. You're comparing yourself to everyone else's finished product. Number three, you're not sticking with a skill, niche, or process. Now, this is actually pretty important. And what I mean, what I mean by this is uh, every week you're trying something different. So the first week you want to be a software developer or a website builder. Uh, the second week you wanted to be, you wanted to create YouTube videos and, and do affiliate marketing. The week after that, you want to be a social media influencer. In order to find long-term sustained success online, you need to pick an avenue and stick with it. Stick with it for six months to a year. So if you are uh, if you are creating YouTube videos, create YouTube videos every day or, or twice or three times a week for six months. If after six months you're not seeing progress, you don't have more six subscribers, you don't have more viewers, then you can say maybe you're not in the right niche or avenue. Actually, you'll be able to probably get an idea of that uh, earlier, but you want to give yourself time. You want to give yourself six months to a year in order to see if you're successful. The people that are successful, they stick with it through the ups and the downs. There will be times where where you're you're not you, you don't want to create a YouTube video. There are times where where people are going to comment and say this is the worst video that are, that I've ever seen. Those are the times where you're right next to success. When someone comes in and they they give you that first bad review, that means that you have taken action and someone for whatever reason, didn't like that action, but you have taken action. You have uh, started garnering a following. Someone is going to come back and tell you again and again how bad your videos are, but you have a follower. So that's number three, not sticking with a skill niche or process. Number four, too much research, too little action. One of the biggest problems with making money online is people are going to bounce from, from pieces of content looking for that magic bullet. They're looking for that smoking gun, that thing that's going to put them over the top and show them the step-by-step -step process. No one's going to be able to tell you step-by-step -step how you can make $100,000 online. They can give you tips, they can give you tools, but they can't tell you how you're going to make $100,000 online. Believe it or not, the blueprint to making money is already there. People have done it, people are continuing to do it, people are doing it every single day. The blueprint is there. Going to another YouTube video, watching another video, reading another blog isn't going to put you that much closer. The one thing that's going to put you closer to the level of success that you want is taking action. Because when you take action, that's when you know if you've been successful or if there are things that you need to improve on. Watching one more YouTube video isn't going to get it done. It's trial and error. And trial and error is an action that wasn't successful. So that's number four. Too much research, too little action. Make sure that you take some action today. And the fifth one, the fifth reason why you can't make money online is you're expecting to be perfect on the first attempt. And even to expand on that, you're expecting to be perfect on every single attempt. Almost no video that you create or no piece of content that you're, you create is going to be perfect. 
And that goes for anything. Uh, professional athletes, painters, artists, musicians, they'll tell you there has never been a time where they've created a per perfect piece of content. Even this video. This video probably has a few different errors in it. And if you wanted to, I'm sure you could point them out. But no piece of of, of content is going to be perfect, especially not in the first attempt. If you are brand new to making money online, you want to make sure that you do as much as possible so that you can learn and figure out what works for you. My content, my delivery may not work for you. The content and delivery may, that I do may not work for anyone else. What, what someone else does doesn't work for me. So you need to put up content. You need to create content in order to figure out what works for you. And you need to make sure that you're doing this consistently. What I would do if you're just getting started, I would take action every day or every other day. And, and taking action means creating a piece of content. If you have an hour, you can create a piece of content. If you're riding on the bus home to, from work, you can create a piece of content. The only way for you to get better and to reach perfection is to create content and keep creating content until you find that level that you're comfortable with. I'm gonna put a few links in the description to help you get started with growing your business. The first link in the description is for email marketing. Email marketing is, in my opinion, the most important type of marketing that is out there. The reason why I am such a believer in email marketing is because it converts at twice the rate as the other marketing types out there. So click that first link in the description and get your free email marketing guide today. The second link in the description is going to help you create content. The course is called Project 24. And the reason why it's called Project 24 is you can actually replace your full-time income with passive income in 24 months. And the reason why they, the, the, the way they help you create content is with blogging and with YouTube videos. So check out, um, check out that second link if you are interested in getting help with content creation. The third link in the description is to a email software called ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is the email software that I use and recommend for a number of reasons. The first reason why I like ClickFunnels is everything that you need for email marketing is contained in this one place. Your, your um, lead forms, your autoresponder, your opt-ins, everything that you need is contained in one place. They also have tutorials to help you get up and running. The other reason why I like ClickFunnels is because it has a drag and drop feature. You don't need to know any programming. You don't need to know how to code. You just basically go in there with a vision and you just drag and drop until your vision is met. If you don't have a vision, they also have some templates for you to use and borrow as much uh, as you need. So check out those three links in the description. Once again, my name is Alston. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.